<clears throat> Perfect. All right. Hi, everyone. Greetings, everyone. Andrew. Wait. Merry Christmas, man. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy holidays. We got a few people logging in. This is great. So, hi, everybody. My name's Andrew, and uh, I'm the owner of Nature Lion Mushrooms. We're a company in Canada, and we are focused on helping people grow their own produce at home. We make uh, mushroom growing kits, they're very easy to use. You just cut them open and mushrooms grow right out of the box. So uh, with no further ado, this is my uh, good friend, David, uh, David Ajala. He's coming out of the UK right now. And uh, he's been a friend of mine for a few years. Uh, I gave him a mushroom kit a few months back and he uh, flew at home and he grew them with, uh, with his family and he had a great time with it. Do you want to tell us what was your experience yeah. and what did you enjoy most about it? It was great. You know, it's funny, Andrew, when I posted um, that we were going to collaborate, I'm so happy we were able to make this work, by the way, my man. Yeah. I'm very happy we were able to make this work. Yeah, when thanks posted, for your time. I oh, appreciate sure, it. I saw gravy. Um, a few people were confused. A few, few people thought that I was promoting and, you know, advertising psychedelic mushrooms. I, I have nothing <laughs> against them or for them, but just to be clear and to reiterate this collaboration is speaking about nature land and the mushrooms are uh, specifically oyster mushrooms. Those are the ones that you gave me to grow myself. Right. And as you so know, pink, o become, pink oyster, right? Pink oyster mu mushrooms. That's right. Pink oyster. Yeah. Now I've just been a bit more, more conscientious about my nutrition and dieting and, you know, flipping up my diet, making healthy, good lifestyle choices. And I've just included a lot more mushrooms in my diet because I'm getting myself ready as you know, for the thing I'm training for. Yeah. So, Oh, yes, yeah. you got <laughs> to get on point for sure. Really and mushrooms are the foundation of that, or they're they're starting to be for you. That's uh, something you're incorporating uh, more. At the moment now, yeah, because I just find awesome. It's just they're easy to cook. There's so much variety, and you can like the other day. I'm not sure if I mentioned it to you. I made um, <laughs> it was jerked oyster mushrooms with jollof rice. Rice and peas nice. and coleslaw on the side were planting. Like it was perfect. It was so simple. Yeah. I didn't feel like I was missing anything. And I'm you made it and and, 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 and enjoy me. you grew these mushrooms, you grew them with your kids, right? I did indeed. It was yeah, yeah. So they I they was thinking about it. It was did they easy. see it right through to the end? Did they did they grow them and did they did they eat them? They did. I I had to bring them in because the for the first time, this is the first time we were able to actually grow produce, right. nurture it, cook it, and then eat it, you know? And I think it just made it that much more fulfilling and interesting a journey, you know? And especially with and kids, you know, they're, they're very curious and wired differently to adults. So everything's an adventure. We had a great absolutely. time. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And how old are they? Eight, going on 18. And Eight. Ten. <laughs> yeah. And now they're mushroom farmers, part-time. 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 <laughs> well, they, they get me to do all the That's good. work. And they so, give but, people the benefits. But if, if, if you're incorporating more of these into your diet, then your family must be at the same time. You're, exactly. you're exactly. kind of all enjoying them? Yeah, that's the thing. And, you know, bit by bit, I think awareness is one thing. And then being uh -huh. able to find your in, you know, because I know I'm West African, <clears throat> Nigerian to be specific specific mm -hmm. flavors are very important to us so there's no way that i'm just gonna i won't be able to sustain a uh, um healthier lifestyle nutritional diet if the flavors aren't correct for me so being right. able to jerk my mushrooms and have it with jollof rice or um jollof quinoa that works as well yeah um quinoa rice quinoa and peas instead of rice and peas being able to kind of mix and make a hybrid of recipes that i'm familiar with but including mushrooms in it, it's just perfect for me. Well, that's what I like about mushrooms is, is you can really put them in any dish. Um, and I tell people all the time, because people always ask me, how do you cook these? How, you know, this is the, one of the questions. Other than the question, are these psychedelics? I get that question all the time as well. Yeah. But how do you cook these is the next question. Like, you know, everybody wants to know. And, you know, despite there being, you know, thousands of recipes online, what I tell people is just, just treat them like 
meat. And if you barbecue them or saute them or, you know, there's, there's so many different ways you can prepare them. But if you kind of treat them like they're a meat, yeah. uh, you're going to get a lot of flavor and you're going to get the textures that you kind of desire. The, there's so many different textures from oyster mushrooms, which you said you've been using mm -hmm. a lot more of. Yeah. Um, the lion's mane mushrooms. I have one customer. He makes these steaks with lion's mane. I'm sure a lot of you have I've seen, seen that. The post uh, that I've made recently too, the, with the lion's mane steaks, mm -hmm. and they're they're fantastic. Like they're very meaty. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're not into meat, this is right up your alley. But if you are a meat eater, this is a great kind of a substitute. So you can kind of consume less. You know, less is more with with these types of things. You want to have a variety on your plate. Absolutely. You want to have a little bit of everything, right? Absolutely. So, and uh, yeah. But for, for everybody that's just jumping on, this is David Ajala. We're talking mushrooms. And for the, those of you that don't know what an oyster mushroom looks like, I'm going to show you. I got some growing right here. Here's one so of the pet <laughs> you always ready. <laughs> right? <laughs> so these are uh, black, black oysters. And I, I'd say they're, they're just about ready to harvest. They grow in about... Two to three weeks. The black oysters, they, they take a little bit longer than the pinks. The, the pinks that you grew, they'll grow in a week, two, yeah. two weeks. Right. Yeah. Um, and these, these ones take a little bit longer, but they're an, a meatier mushroom too. So you get a lot of meat uh, from this as well too. So if you guys are watching too, please, you know, hit the like button. Let's, you know, get this going viral. And uh yeah, these are uh, these are great. You can just kind of harvest these off the block. You're just going to pull them off by hand, throw them right in the frying pan fresh 30 seconds after you harvested them. You, you can't really get a better mushroom. You're not going to find anything at the grocery store that's quite like the ones that you grew yourself, and I'm sure you can, can attest to that. Absolutely, and you can reuse them as well. It's not just – it's a kit. Exactly, you, yeah. Please two three times depending on how you nurture it and look after it and i think you know andrew one of the things that definitely i found cool and a healthy challenge was to be able to grow my own produce you know and mm -hmm. aside from the cost of living crisis which people keep speaking about actually that's a whole conversation different conversation but i think we need to be mindful about continuously saying cost of living crisis 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 because it's kind of insane right. i think the positive side of it is to now encourage and to make people aware that they can be empowered to grow their own food and have control over the food that they consume absolutely inside of their body yeah and that was one of the and things that definitely caught me for sure that's why we're that's our mission really is to get more people to get inspired right to to take this into their own hands it can start with a kit yeah. and you can turn that into more mushrooms just from one single kit i've had Customers make uh, Home Depot buckets full of straw, and they, they hydrate that straw, boil it in water, drain it, and add the mycelium, and they can expand these mushrooms to grow. You know, you could grow with one kit. You could grow up to 10, 20 pounds of mushrooms. It's, it's really up to you. So it's, um, we have, uh, like, Show mycelium. Have, and, you know, this is the mycelium block, right? So this is what it, the mycelium looks like. And you basically, you just break this up, you add it to some more substrate and it'll, it'll continue to grow. Um, this is a new mushroom that we haven't uh, released yet. It's the King Blue Oyster. Um, it's really nice. It's uh, very meaty. Um, we're, in January, we're gonna, have, we're, we're gonna have about 10 strains that we're gonna be offering. And we're hoping to do you know 20 by the end of the year. We're gonna have um, like a build your own box. So it's good. We're, our goal is to make this more accessible, really, is, um, you know, it, the cost of living, like you said, going to the grocery store, you're looking at 25 to 30 bucks a pound for oyster mushrooms, for lion's mane mushrooms, stuff like that. Any, anything specialty, anything with, with substance, it's going to cost you a lot. So That's right. what we want to do is we want to kind of make it more accessible bring the price down and people can mix and match and try different varieties of mushrooms and see how they grow in their environments and see how they, you know, they like the tastes and the textures. And I think that's a big part of, uh, 
you know, where this is all headed for, you know, for everybody. Absolutely. And I yeah. have to say as well, Andrew, it's <clears throat> um, what one thing that uh, I, I've learned from yourself about not just mushrooms and, and healthier options and nutrition and whatnot, but um, passion. I think passion is a really, really important thing. And sometimes, you know, people who have, have any kind of platform or whatever on social media, they're approached by various different companies to speak about certain things that they're genuinely passionate about. And I think your passion yeah. for me has been very infectious. And that's one of the reasons why you sent me the kit, I went to the kit, grew these mushrooms myself, enjoyed them, and then here we are still speaking. And I think one thing that's really cool about yourself is the way you empower people to be able to grow their own mushrooms. And even if it is something outside of their comfort zone, as it was for me, your passion and the way you speak with customers and people and engage with them is one of the reasons why I'm here having this conversation. So for those people well, who are tuning in and listening in, you know, um, I'm, mushrooms weren't particularly my favorite vegetable of choice, but here we are. I've been converted because I found my in. Jerks mushrooms. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers to mushrooms. Um, which, you know, kind of, uh, we have another guest coming on after you shortly after, and uh, she's started with us with a kit, and she's now growing mushrooms, you know, on a regular basis, and it's been an inspiration to her life. And, like, we've been able to inspire so many different people over the last three years that have now kind of, you know, even if they don't get kits from us and they're growing their own mushrooms on their own now because they've learned how, because we kind of gave them the foot in the door. That's that's a beautiful thing. And that's, you know, teaching the world to be a better place and mm -hmm. um, less, you know, less gas and diesel to transport these mushrooms around if you grow them yourself and you grow your own food. Like if you have a vegetable garden in your backyard, this is a no brainer for you in the winter as something, you know, something that you can get your hands on and start right away, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so, and <laughs> so what is your favorite mushroom? Is it, is it oysters or oysters all, day. all day? All day. Yeah. All day, day. Do you know much about the lion's mane? Are you? That, yes. The lion's mane mushroom. I've yeah. been researching about it. And well, what I've enjoyed is the powder that you guys have, the lion's mane powder. The lion's yeah. mane powder. <laughs> you were able to put that, you know me, in protein shakes and training. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> I, I love having the lion's mane powdered mushroom in my protein shakes. It helps with my cognitive thinking, um, my muscle recovery, and it blends very, very, very smoothly that you don't necessarily taste it. Yeah. Um, that I've only become aware of lion's mane mushrooms because of yourself. So that's another way and to do it. As far as the benefit goes, you notice the benefit from from using it, like on a oh, using it daily time. with your smoothies. Yeah, yeah, uh, every every other day. Yeah, every other day I have it in my smoothies. Yeah. It's good and to it's keep that, that con consistent. So you said it, consistency. <laughs> that's how you feel benefits. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, for everybody that's just coming on, this is David Ajala. Um, you know, you may have seen him on TV, you may have seen him in some movies. David, before you have to go, is there anything that um, maybe you want to tell us that we don't know already about you? Um, or yeah. something coming up on yeah, the horizon, yeah. something. That's great. I had, I had some fried oyster mushrooms a few <laughs> weeks ago. Yeah. It changed my life. Wow, like it, it tasted like I was eating fried chicken. Like it was delicious. crispy, crispy, delicious. crispy fried. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was delicious. Um, Where? I wish I could remember the name of this chef. She's actually on Instagram. But she, uh, her food was just sublime. But I remember specifically the fried oyster mushrooms that were just divine. Had oh, we should have had her live. We should have had her live with us. I, so I'll connect her <laughs> to you, Andrew, because she's definitely worth giving a shout out to. Um, yeah, yeah. I think she's in amazing things, similar to yourself, with ways she's Absolutely. empowering people to yeah. implement changing and, their lives. And I also, I want to just, you know, while well, we got everybody here, I want to say, you know, thanks, a big thanks from the bottom of my heart, because Christmas has been a very, very good time for us. We've been selling a lot of kits. Um, I'm very excited. In three days, 
you know, there's going to be thousands of people opening their own mushroom box and starting to grow their own food. So, you know, January is going to be a good time for us. We're going to be getting a lot of pictures, a lot of feedback, a lot of people, you know, positive reviews, hopefully. If there are any negative reviews, you know, we're going to sort those customers out and make sure that they have a positive experience as well. Um, because that's what we're all about. We just want people to be inspired. And I think that we're well on our way to, you know, achieving that goal. So I really want to thank you, David, for Pleasure spending you. time with us today. Yeah. Um, much appreciated. I know you're a busy guy and it's the holidays, so. All good, my man. We made and, it happen. And everybody that's uh, logging in and or still here, stay tuned, because I'm about to invite uh, Brittany from... Uh, Eat Cambridge, Ontario, and she's just a local girl who was inspired by a mushroom kit. And she's, uh, you know, since then she started a foodie page, gained thousands of followers on Instagram, and uh, it's it's going to be good to hear her experience and her side of uh, you know of this whole thing. So I appreciate your time, David. Pleasure, man. Okay. Have the best Christmas, Andrew. Peace out. Right. See you soon. Okay. Thank you all for joining Thanks. us. Stay blessed. All right. Peace. Bye. <laughs>
Yeah. Um, it grows back to very easily. So once you've harvested, it'll grow back two or three times. And um, I can't wait to see. I know you got, grabbed three lines main kits and you're working on a little video for us there. So I can't wait to see when that comes out too. So Yeah, so they, I've had a first <laughs> flush of them. They've had the second flush already. They're on a third flush right now. But yeah. But they're a little bit slower right now. I didn't soak them this time. We'll see what happens. <laughs> is Probably the, go and soak them, but. Is the video, is it going to be all three flushes or? Yeah, it was like a pyramid. Oh. I like put them all in yeah. one and then like they timed well that they all like grew kind of at the same time. So awesome. it'll be like a time lapse of like the three of them growing all oh. throughout. Yeah. Oh. And they, Yeah. It'll be pretty cool. This, this is going to be the next one you grow right here. <laughs> cool. Nice. Yeah. The chestnuts um, look really cute too, but there's no kits out there for chestnuts. I really oh, like, we, like, they're just so cute. Yeah. We're, we're going to have them in January. Nice. So we're, we're That's exciting. Chestnut, we're going to have black poplar mushrooms. We're going to have all sorts of different, we're going to have golden enoki. So okay, cool. yeah, we're really going to be, uh, pushing it out there. We're going to try and have 10 to 15 different kinds, you know, by the middle of the year. So well, more, more people nice. can try different kinds and maybe some reishi and stuff as we get going because it's a little bit different to grow. But um, so yeah, uh, I noticed that when you started, you didn't really have the, the, or did you, did you have the Eat Cambridge page already? No. No. So no. This was as shortly after you grew mushrooms for the first time, you started your page. Yeah, so I probably, <laughs> I started the page in like May 2021. We had moved to Cambridge from yeah. Hamilton. Yeah. And so like, I just, I thought it was something to do kind of like it was still a pandemic time too. So it was kind of yeah. just something like interesting to do. And yeah, it was just a way to like try new food in the area. And it's kind of like since grown since then, I didn't expect it to grow <laughs> it as of, fast as it did. Yeah, so. it, it blew up pretty quick. Yeah, you've got what, almost 3,000 followers, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, yeah. it's like crazy. Video, I like didn't expect it. <laughs> your videos and pictures are amazing. Like the color, you really, it seems like you emphasis on the color and the production quality and everything. So if Thank you guys you so are, you know, watching or watching this video in the reruns later, you know, follow Eat Cambridge Ontario and, uh, you know, show Brittany some love. She's been helping us uh, uh, spread the spores. So uh, <laughs> I appreciate your time and uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Thank holidays. Thank you for having me. Is Happy holidays. You want to you wanna add like a, to everybody here who might be watching who's thinking about getting a kit like and kind of on the fence about it i think like it's just like a fun science project like i i also <laughs> bought them just like because it was just fun and like it's fun to experiment it's fun to see them grow like that was like it's almost more exciting to see them grow than it is to eat them and i like love eating them but also just like <laughs> watching them grow every day and then like you go to bed and then they like, like grow more and it's like just like so surprising and every time is a little bit different and it's just I don't know I love that from like a science perspective yeah. <laughs> it's just fun to do and it's it's super easy and it's really easy to make like mushroom dishes just in general yeah. so it's super versatile like yeah. It's a quick like it's good great for kids like they can see them grow too like learn yeah, it's super fun. Great. Well, I appreciate your time, and I'm glad that you've enjoyed growing all these different sorts of mushrooms and that your page is growing, um, you know, and I can't wait to see what, what uh, comes next. So, For sure. Thank you for having me. You're, right. Like, <laughs> it's so true that you talking about the mushrooms, it's so infectious, and it just, like, makes everybody else want to do them. Right. Like, it's just such a joy to, to talk to you and work with you. Awesome. I appreciate that. It's good. I can't wait till Christmas morning. I'm going to feel that, that joy, <laughs> all the messages coming at me, too. So, For sure. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Brittany. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone, and happy holidays. Happy holidays everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.